Hi everybody, this workout is a Coach Tam and Coach Ali mashup. You will need a weight plate and a pair of dumbbells to complete this workout. Sumo deadlift. Start with a wide stance and V position feet. Drop into your deadlift, bending forward as your weight plate gets closer to the floor. Keep looking in front of you to maintain a neutral spine. Avoid tucking your tailbone to keep the torsional load off your lumbar spine. No rowing of the arms for this exercise. Your turn. We are going to start with plate zerker squats and then lift up into a calves raise for this exercise. Start this exercise by pulling the weight plate tight against your chest, holding it with your biceps and forearms. Make sure your feet are comfortable at shoulder width and drop down into your squat from here. Engage your core during the uplift and continue all the way up into a calves raise. Your turn to have a go at this one. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Thank you. 
squats for this exercise with a single dumbbell so that the weight is on one side so it's going to feel a little bit uneven which is great because it's going to help you with a little bit of extra core control for this exercise and just making sure that we're keeping the posture as upright as we can and just dropping down into that nice steady squat and lifting back up nice and slow. And then we're going to switch it up, switch hands and do the same squats, but your weight's going to come from the op opposite side. Your turn to try this one. working a basic isometric squat for this one. So I'm just dropping down with my feet parallel at shoulder width and just trying to keep an upright upper body for this one. I've got the dumbbell pressed to the top of my chest and it's just remaining there for the duration of the set. Your turn to try this one. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Thank you. 
This exercise is a snatch squat. Hold the weight plate over your head with extended arms and vertical upper body. Drop into your squat while holding the plate overhead. Keep your arms extended while engaging your middle back as you lift up into your standing position. This one's a nice difficult squat variation. Try it. We are doing an amplified wall sit for this exercise by placing the weight plate on our horizontal thighs to create extra weight. Knees should be bent at 90 degrees and your hands can rest on the weight plate. Let's hold this pose for the next minute. Your turn. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Thank you. 
Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Frog legs, glutes bridge for this exercise. So starting with your feet together and your knees apart, we're going to lift right up into a glutes bridge as high as you can. So we want to try and hit that body triangle and then return your butt all the way back down to the floor and lift again. Make sure you're keeping your knees as wide as you can throughout the entire lift. Your turn to try this one. <laughs> Weighted side knee strike for this exercise from four points position. So you can see what I've done with the dumbbell. I've locked it on the back of my knee where my plantarus is. And then it's just a matter of a squeeze to the outside, really working your outer glutes and your abductors and getting into that side knee raise. Now we're going to do this with one side for a set and then switch it up and do the other side as well. Your turn to try it.
Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. This exercise is weighted glutes bridge. Lying face up with your weight plate resting on your hips, use your hands to support your weight plate as you lift into a glutes bridge. A little pause at the top as you squeeze your glutes will amplify this exercise. You try it. This exercise is weighted side knee raise. Lie on your side with both your static and your dynamic leg bent at 90 degrees. Ensure your foot is horizontal so your hips are in the right place before starting. Knee raise with maximum range of movement and manage the weight plate with your top hand. Let's do a set with your right and then a set with your left. Your turn.
Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Starting lying down on the floor in a prone position, we're going to make sure that we've got our knees and feet together and we're holding up the dumbbell with the arch of our foot. We're going to go into some leg curls and we're going to make sure that we're getting 90 degrees of action as far as the movement is concerned. Make sure you keep pressing your feet together to keep the dumbbell nicely secured. Your turn to try this one.
starting with a nice wide base and parallel feet, we're going to go into some side squats for this exercise. So you can see I'm actually resting the dumbbell on my hip and it's pushing towards the side where I've got the dumbbell. So that's basically the only knee that's bending throughout this exercise. Once we finish with one side, we're going to just switch it up, put the dumbbell on your other hip and hit the other side as well. Your turn to try it. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Thank you. 
Arms overhead lunge for this exercise. Start with your feet together and hold your plate above your head with extended arms. Drop your right leg back into your lunge stance and work a set of static foot lunges. At the countdown, switch legs and work the other side. It's very important to keep a neutral spine and vertical posture to protect your back. Your turn to try this exercise. Let's rest and repeat the last exercise. Well done for getting through your workout today. Let's take a moment to stretch our muscles and cool down. See you again very soon.